Hi Scorpio, this is Tracy from Northeast Tarot and welcome to your December 2016 monthly tarot forecast. This is for Scorpio Sun, Scorpio Moon, and Scorpio Rising signs. So Scorpio, for this reading I am using my Universal Tarot deck along with the magical messages from the fairies oracle cards by doreen virtue and then also i am going to be pulling you a romance angel oracle card by doreen virtue as well scorpio i am using a celtic cross spread i always use a celtic cross spread for all of my monthly tarot forecast and as always i always suggest that you watch your sun your moon and your rising signs for the most insight if you do not know what your sun or excuse me if you do not know what your your rising or moon sign are i do have linked below in the description bar a website that can calculate that for you for free um, and also if you are interested in receiving a private reading from me scorpio I do also have my website list, listed below in the description bar. Please head over there and read about how I offer my private readings. All right, Scorpio. So at the bottom of the deck, of the Ace of Swords. Okay. And this is the overall energy, Scorpio, for the month. So the Ace of Swords um, represents communication. It can also represent uh, signing a contract. So for some Scorpios, you absolutely could be signing a contract. Uh, communication could be very important. Um, for some Scorpios, you could be cutting through any BS or cutting through any confusion. Uh, the Ace of Swords for me represents you receiving that truth or that clarity. Uh, for some Scorpions, you could be cutting to the truth of the matter. You could be speaking your truth. You could be hearing the truth. Um, but communication is going to be very, very significant. For for a very small number of Scorpios, um, this could be you actually using this sword to sever ties, you know, from that that's no longer serving you, whether that be a relationship or a job or, or some sort of maybe negative situation. Uh, now, right at the center, this is energy that... You know, some of you are experiencing experiencing right at the start of December or, you know, at the end of November, because I'm filming this at the end of November, I have the Ace of Pentacles crossed by the Nine of Swords. So the Ace of Pentacles is a beautiful, solid new beginning. So this is a new beginning that is going to add uh, more security or stability to your life in some way. So this is you know, this beautiful new beginning that's coming through for many of you. This could be a new job, a new home. This could be a raise. This could be a promotion. For some of you, this could be an inheritance. Um, this could be something that you're signing a contract uh, with uh, Scorpio, with the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Swords. Uh, for some of you, certainly could be landing a new job or, you know, moving to a new home. But whatever this is, with the Nine of Swords, you could be worrying about this. This is that mental energy. So in the mind, stressing, worrying, maybe dealing with some anxiety, some fears surrounding this, this Ace of Pentacles. So, you know, some of you definitely need to take caution with this energy. Try to stay out of your mind. Try to remain positive. Uh, try to focus on, you know, the positive side of things. Uh, for some of you, maybe you're just, you know, really concerned uh, or really worrying about this new beginning. And, you know, you're staying up at night. You're very focused on it. Um, because this could be something you've been holding out for. We have the Four of Pentacles at the foundation. So for some Scorpios, this was you really holding out, maybe perhaps for this Ace of, of Pentacles. Um, you know, holding on to an idea, holding on to something that you that you really wanted. Uh, the Four of Pentacles also speaks of, of financial stability, security. So for some of you, uh, I think you've been holding out. You've been patient when it comes to this Ace of Pentacles. You've been waiting on this. Um, You know, and then for a very, very small number of you, this could have been you holding on to someone or something. Uh, something that I feel is going to add a great deal of, of security to your life. Um, there's a lot of pentacles here. 
So I definitely see this being, you know, for some of you, this is maybe a home or, or, or assets. This definitely could be an inheritance or something like that for some of you. Um, for, for a very small number of you, you know, this could have been you dealing with something legal. Someone else could have been hanging on tightly to something, uh, not loosening their grip their grip, excuse me, um, and for some of you that could be why you're worrying, but we have the world in the recent past, so uh, something definitely could have completed with the energy of the world. For some of you, this was you completing a very long chapter of your life, and this is you uh, now moving on to that next chapter. This also can represent travel, so there could have been, you know, some Scorpios that maybe traveled in the recent past, or simply just, you know, this is you moving on to that next chapter. When, you know, we have this energy present, it does require patience um, because it is you uh, easing out of one chapter of your life, Scorpio, and then easing into the next. It is a very blessed energy. Um, for some of you, you definitely might have completed something, something could have ended. Uh, and then for others, this is you completing a very long chapter, and now you're moving on to that next chapter of your life. Um, but with that Ace of Swords, I do feel like for some of you, you could have maybe let go. Um, for some of you with the Four of Pentacles at the foundation, the, the foundation is the deep past. So for some of you, you could have been hanging on tightly to something or someone. And then for some of you, you know, this could have completed or this could have come to an end for some Scorpios, or maybe it's going to in the month of December. But I feel like this is very positive. Whatever this is, um, you know, this is something that's, that, that's very good. Um, now, crowning you, we have the Page of Pentacles. So you could be waiting on news from maybe a Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo, communication could be, be very significant. So this is you maybe thinking about communicating with someone or, or maybe waiting to hear from someone. Uh, maybe it's in regards to a job. It could be in regards to this, this Ace of Pentacles. Um, for some of you, you're waiting to maybe be able to fully manifest this Ace of Pentacles um, within your life. And that's why we have this Nine of Swords energy here, um, because maybe it's developing slowly. Um, so this is you maybe thinking about that communication, wanting that communication or that news to come in, maybe in regards to this Ace of Pentacles. And then, of course, for, for some of you, you could be thinking about an Earth sign person or even a child. There could be a child that's very significant um, for you in the beginning of the month, uh, Scorpio. Now, around the second week, we do have the energy of the tower coming through. So this isn't negative. This is very much a neutral energy. So the tower represents uh, a big change. So certainly something could be ending. Uh, if someone was hanging on tightly to something, uh, this definitely could be that change taking place. Um, Someone could be using the sword here as well. Someone could be receiving the truth, um, speaking their truth. But I see, you know, very significant change that's coming up around the second week. Uh, I think that for some of you, this is a home with the Ace of Pentacles. I think you, there's been some sort of maybe situation dealing with either real estate, but also this could be, you know, this could be an inheritance or something like that. I think that a home is very significant for many of you. Maybe you've been waiting to sell your house. Uh, you could have been waiting for an offer or waiting on that news. And uh, around the second week, this could be news coming in quite suddenly. The, the tower can represent that very sudden energy, but also it represents, you know, that very big change. So, let me just see what I'm getting here. You know, fours speak of foundation. And, you know, I definitely think that for some of you, you've either been waiting to sell your house or waiting to be able to move to a new house. And so I definitely think that for many of you, this is speaking about a home. Uh, the tower can absolutely be that structure, that building, that home. And then for maybe some of you, you've been waiting on this, this great change. With the Nine of Swords, 
uh, crossing the Ace of Pentacles, I think that you've been waiting for this great change to come in. So definitely something significant could be happen happening around the second week. I feel like for the majority of you, this is very positive. Um, you could be hearing from an earth sign uh, quite unexpectedly. For some of you with the Ace of Swords here, you could be signing... Uh, you could be purchasing a house. You could be signing a contract uh, around the second week. Now, in the position of your power, Scorpio, I do have the Queen of Pentacles. So there's a lot of Earth energy here. So there could be some Scorpios that maybe you're spending a lot of time with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. Or, of course, you know, in the position of your power, you could be very grounded, down to earth, very, very focused on money matters, very focused on a home, or very focused on your business or career, um, and how other people around you are viewing you. We have the Wheel of Fortune. So, lots of change coming up for you, Scorpio. So this wheel is turning. So the Wheel of Fortune does represent karma. It also represents destiny and the timing being right. So um, for some of you, the second, the third week of the month is just very, very significant. There's a, there's a lot of change that is going to be coming through. Uh, the Wheel of Fortune is a very blessed, fortunate energy. So this wheel is turning and... Uh, if you've been waiting to be able to sign on the dotted line when it comes to a piece of property or if you've been waiting on, you know, something big to happen, some sort of great change to take place, it could be coming through quite suddenly, um, especially, you know, with the, the page of pentacles here crowning you. I think that for many of you, you're waiting on that uh, communication. You're expecting it. And, you know, this wheel is turning. So this could be coming in quite Suddenly, this could be you hearing about a property or hearing about a job or um, receiving communication even from uh, an earth sign person. Now, in your hopes and fears, you have the Ace of Cups. So this is what you're hoping for, a beautiful blessing from the heavens, a beautiful new beginning that's very exciting. It's fulfilling on an emotional level. Uh, for some of you, it can be the same new beginning as the Ace of Pentacles, uh, something that makes you very happy emotionally. It's it's emotionally fulfilling, but also, you know, it's going to add a great deal of maybe uh, stability to your life. So this could be a new job. This can be a home. Uh, for I feel like for a very small number of you, this is a relationship. Um, I think, you know, this is a message that I've received for you in the in the weekly forecast, uh, Scorpio. For a very small number of you, you know, you could have um, or you could be getting out of one relationship. You could be starting another relationship with someone else. Um, but again, I think that's for a very, very small number of you. And now, you know, the energy that you have, Scorpio, you're leaving the month of, or you're actually leaving the year with, um, you're leaving December and you're starting the new year with the Three of Wands. So this is very positive. For some of you, your ships are coming in. For others, um, this is something taking root. Threes represent that growth, that expansion. So something is taking root. Um, I feel like for many of you, it's something that's exciting, something that you are waiting on. Uh, there's some sort of growth. There's some sort of progress. So for some of you, you could be taking your relationship to the next level. Um, I see you very focused on the future. There's a lot of change that's going to take place for many of you in the month of December, but I feel like this is very, very positive. I do feel like for many of you, you possibly could be moving to a new home uh, or, or maybe even starting a new job here with the Ace of Pentacles. Uh, I see you very focused on a home or very focused on money matters. Um, and financially, honestly, I think it's going to be an amazing month for you. Um, financially, I see many of you in a really, really good place. I see new opportunities coming through. You have three aces here, Scorpio. You have the world, which is a blessed energy. Uh, you have the wheel of fortune. You have the tower. With the energy of the tower, I feel like for many of you, there's there's a great change that's that's taking place, and it's something that needs to happen. Let me pull you an additional guidance card. 
additional guidance for Scorpio for December 2016, Scorpio. Scorpio, additional guidance for Scorpio for the month of December. For some of you, speaking your truth is going to be, you know, very significant. Uh, for some of you, that that could be exactly what you're doing around the second week. You could be receiving the truth. You could be speaking your truth. For others, you could be signing uh, on the dotted line. Maybe when it comes to buying a new home. This also could be something legal. All right, so I'm going to pull you an additional Romance Angel Oracle card. Additional guidance for Scorpio in regards to love and relationships for the month of December 2016. All right, so we have one card that flipped over. That's the one that I want. Very interesting. So the additional guidance that I have for you, Scorpio, for December is do some research. You need more information about this situation. Look, look into it further before proceeding. So, for some of you, you have this Ace of Pentacles, this opportunity that's here, but maybe you're waiting on communication in regards to this. That's why we have the Nine of Swords as the challenge. Be, you know, you're waiting, you're maybe thinking about this a little bit too much, um, you're dealing with some anxiety surrounding this. Uh, what can really help you is maybe doing some research. There could be something that for some of you that you're missing. There's more information that's needed, maybe even just simply talking to people. This isn't always research, you know, when it comes to studying something or getting online. You might need to even speak to someone or, or speak to maybe a group uh, because there's something that to be learned here. Now, in regards to love and relationships, we have reconciliation. <laughs> uh, someone from your past is, is returning to your life, Scorpio. Okay, so this could be an earth sign person. Uh, let's see what I'm getting here. Yeah, I mean, we have this earth energy here. So for some of you, it's an earth sign. For others, um, it could be a fire sign. Uh, but we have someone coming back. Now, this could be an ex, but not necessarily. This could just be someone that you know. For some of you, it could be a bit of a shock. This person could be coming through around the second, third week. If you are getting into a relationship, um, this definitely could be like a karmic relationship here. Um, yeah, and for some, for those of you who are getting into a new relationship, um, maybe there's more information uh, that is needed when it comes to this situation or this relationship. So maybe, you know, for some of you, you shouldn't just jump uh, into a relationship, maybe taking it slow. With the three of wands here, this speaks of growth and this speaks of progress being made. Um, but uh, this isn't something that is developing quite quickly with the three of wands. This is a progress, uh, a progression here with this energy. So for some of you, you know, I definitely do see you taking it slow. Um, but yeah, as you can see, Scorpio, it's going to be an amazing month for you. Um, financially, I think uh, it's just going to be a great month for many of you. Fin finances are very, very significant. Uh, and even, you know, uh, a home for many of you. I see you moving to a new home or starting a new job. Um, but it's definitely going to be an amazing month for you, Scorpio. So I do hope that you found this reading helpful. And I wish you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Take care.